Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Ali if you're new, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Ali. I upload three videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. Okay, you guys, so for this video, I have for you guys my top five favorite ways to take care of myself. So my top five um, things I use for self-care or just to feel better about myself. And so we all know that whenever we think of self-care, we think of pampering ourselves, but I wanted to not only focus on the physical, but also the mental and the spiritual aspect. And so anyways, to start this off, we are going to actually start with the physical, and I do want to thank Gleeman for sponsoring this video. This video is sponsored by them, and so I will go ahead and talk about their product first, and we are going to go ahead and talk about this vitamin C clay mask. Okay, so this clay mask is actually has turmeric and aloe vera in it. And again, this is vitamin C. So we all know the skin benefits of vitamin C. Vitamin C is really, really good for brightening up your skin, lightening dark spots, and just giving your skin a little bit more of a oomph. Now this specific mask is um, for, they market it for glowing. So this is to help your skin glow. I don't have on any makeup today. and. I do have to agree the next day after I use this mask my skin does look a lot more glowy and bright and not so dull and like just tired if that makes any sense after I use this mask one thing I do love about this mask though is that it does come with a little brush right here this is my favorite way to apply any type of clay mask I love using these brushes it's so easy just to paint on around your face and so now let's get into some of the skin benefits of this right here so like i said we all know what vitamin c is for brighten your skin lighten up dark spots and just overall make your skin look more alive but turmeric in itself is really really good for detoxifying the skin it's really good for inflammation and it's also really good for any dark spots that you may be struggling with to lighten those as well that's why a lot of people like to use like a turmeric paste underneath their armpits to lighten up those dark spots turmeric is really really good for that another good thing is aloe vera is also another really good agent for or product for soothing your skin as well we all know like you know if you get a sunburn you put aloe vera on it and it's really good for soothing your skin but it's also very very hydrating and so i feel like this mask is kind of your all-in-one even though it is marketed only for glowing when i use this i feel like it's doing a lot for me a lot more than just allowing glowy skin it kind of calms everything down and you guys i truly love turmeric turmeric for me is like just that miracle spice because i use it in my cooking I drink turmeric tea because like I said it has so many not only skin benefits but health benefits as well it's good for your joints like I said it's good for inflammation it's good just to detoxify to unclog your pores turmeric is good for so many things and so with that being said I do like to use this mask on a really good self-care night yes I have been testing this out and I have not gotten any breakouts from the mask specifically now I do have breakouts but these are from that girl time of the month and so but this does not cost any other additional breakouts or anything like that it's really soft and gentle on the skin and you only have to leave this on for 10 minutes which i really really like you can leave this on for 10 minutes or just until the mask dries which i think is so so awesome um and i like to do this specifically before um I get in like into a bath and soak or if I'm gonna take a shower if it's just been a long day and I feel like my face has been through a lot I really love to go in with this clay mask they do recommend that you clean your face before you use this and I will whether I have on makeup or not I do wash my face before I put this mask on and I feel like that really does help I feel like once you wash your face and you really open up those pores then this mask is allowed is 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 allowed this mask is really able to go into deep into your pores since they're already open and do what it does so yeah this is like my number one way that i love to, to have like a little self-care night is with a clay mask okay so the next product right after the gleaming clay mask like i was saying you guys this is my second thing that i do like i said i love to do the mask right before a bath so i've really been loving the dr teals line so i not only the bubble bath but their epsom salts epsom salts as well i actually do have one i just couldn't reach it and i didn't feel like climbing on the toilet to get it down but i really do love dr teals epsom salts and their bubble bath has to be the best one that i've ever tried the one that i've really been loving though is 
there's this sleep bath with melatonin and essential oils oh my lanta if i am having like a restless night and i take a bath with this and i use this your girl is out of there like we're sleeping we're good we are going to sleep but it's really nice just to kind of lay in the lay in the bath you know let that little face mask dry while you're soaking in the tub and just to allow your body just to sink and like kind of like wash away the cares or the burdens that you've been carrying through the day and just like self reflect i don't know about anybody else but for me i feel like the shower or the bath is like the number one place <laughs> where i'm like sorting my life out like i'm figuring out life crises <laughs> life life crises i don't know in the shower or the bathtub so yeah this has really been good especially like i said for help for really um restless nights this melatonin one right here they also have a body lotion that goes with this and then, like i said they have an epsom salt that goes with this and if you work out and you get really really sore muscles epsom salt is going to be like your very very best friend okay so the next thing i really love to do for a self-care night is actually in this box right here my mom and sister made me this box but is you know like just a good little manny petty session now i did go ahead and buy one of these off of um amazon and i do have to plug it in so i can't show you but it came with this uv light and it also came with all these nail polishes it came with some nail files some little toe separators just like everything that you need for a complete manicure set at home even some little jewels to put on your nails and i feel like painting your nails has to be downright the most relaxing thing and you know like just something you can focus on something you can control if you've been here for a while you kind of noticed that my favorite things to relax me are things that i can have control over um you know like there's a lot in life you can't have control over you can't control people you can't really control a lot of things but i feel like when it comes to painting your nails or cleaning you can control those things and it's very soothing to me so yeah my next option would be um just find you a good manicure set you know like just sit down pamper yourself pamper yourself and i will link that set that i got on amazon because it was only 40 bucks and like i said it came with all those gel polishes which i really think are really good and so if you've liked my nails in my last few videos i use that gel polish kit and it lasts really really long as well it has a matte top coat a glossy top coat it comes with your base and like i said all those colors and it has two glitters and then it has foil it comes with foils it comes with um, little diamond studs all kinds of stuff to decorate your nails and i absolutely love it like most of the things that i have been talking about are what i like to do at the end of the day so i will go ahead and end or not in the video but talk about the last thing that i like to do to end my day and just kind of go to sleep with a peaceful mind is read a book so now we're getting into kind of the mental and spiritual side of things and i really feel like that's a big part of self-care is because if your mental state isn't right or your spiritual state isn't right like you're really never going to feel taken care of or feel like you can be at peace and so one way that i really like to do that is to read books and not just any books i don't like to read self-help books but i like to read really faith encouraging books so i have this one right here that i'm going through right now this is called mother and son the respect effect and i'm also working my way through this wife after god um devotional now these are taking me a long time to go through because i mean like these i feel like i'm really having to take my time and just really soak in everything but i like that you know you can journal in one and one just kind of edifies you as a mother as a as a mother as a mom that's the same thing ali but these i i really love reading a good book and just giving my mind something specific to focus on so that way it's not running at a million miles per hour and i'm starting to feel overwhelmed and beat down so yeah i highly recommend it find a book if you need book recommendations i have book reviews on my channel and i also just have blot out um my top five favorite christian books but if not and you just want to like i don't know there's a lot of things out there but i really do recommend like before you go to bed instead of getting on your phone try to read a book kind of just disconnect from the world right before bed and get into a book and just kind of be in your own space relax your mind calm your mind i feel like that really helps with a good restful peaceful night Okay, so now to start my day off, because I feel like you should practice self-care all throughout your day, but for sure, first thing in the morning and to end your night, to kind of just take a 
first of all to kind of prepare yourself for the day and I really like to do it at the end of the night to kind of self reflect and see okay what could I have done better this day how can I make it better tomorrow it's okay that I wasn't perfect today but let me get myself prepared for the next day that's why I like self care at nighttime as well but to help take on the day I really like journaling a lot of people write down their thoughts their feelings for me journaling is kind of like writing down my thoughts only I do it in prayer form so you can get something blank like this and just write write down your prayers write down your thoughts now all of mine are faith-based journals so even though this one is like a blank page and you can kind of just write whatever you want it does have scripture and you know it kind of reminds you to say like what are you grateful for today and if you kind of don't know how to journal I recommend something like this so this is a guided journal so this is going to help you um, kind of know what to journal about so okay count your blessings so it's gonna help you go and through be a, uh, see what you're thankful for see what you are thankful for kind of help you helps you focus on all of the positive things in life and then hey like how can I help somebody else how can I be a blessing to others and like it even has you like write down some prayers and like just a whole lot of things and like I said reflecting on today so what were you grateful for today what were you hopeful for today what are you praying for and things like that so i think a guided journal is also really well is is also really good as well but like i said if you're kind of a pro at journaling and you're not really into like a guided journal i recommend like just a blank journal journal write down your thoughts you know write down your plans write down your goals just you know like put something down on paper that's going to help lift a burden off of you so yeah you guys those are my favorite ways for to, to help take care of myself um, i guess favorite products in a sense which basically is like a book a journal a bath and a mask and a pedicure so yeah i love you guys um let me know what your favorite things are to take care of yourself if you um didn't see anything mentioned here that maybe you do that i should try i'm always looking forward to take care um or finding ways to take better care of myself even if it is just a face mask and with that being said i really do want to thank gleeman again for sponsoring today's video and check it out i will have a link in the description with this mask and i really really do recommend this wholeheartedly like I'm not just saying that because the video is sponsored I specifically told them I wanted to try it out make sure my skin didn't react to it make sure I liked it before we actually went ahead through with it and so that's what I have been doing and you guys I really really love that mask so check it out and I love you guys but always remember that Jesus loves you more if you haven't already please go ahead and give me a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah.